here's the graveyard of the hikers that didn't carry enough water. Day 40, just got my final resupply here at the Needles Outpost. And now I'm headed out of Canyonlands for a bit and headed north. I'm going to re-enter the park ever so briefly and have a few more days. Got to get to Moab. Let's go. This pothole seems to always be reliable. Despite how dry a year it is, there's still plenty of water here. I love it because it's a nice, cool place to get out of the sun for a while, get back and just relax, watch the birds come in and get their drink of water. Can't relax too long because we still have a long ways to go. About a half a mile up behind me up the side canyon is a uh, great overlook of the loop of the Colorado River. I'm not going to go up there today because I've done it before and I'm um, running short on time. But We're going to take a look at the loop of the Colorado River. Let's take a look. This is where the Colorado River does a double goose neck. Two huge bends around these points. See the main one here. If you look at the low point of the ridge over there, you can see the northern loop as well. All you first time hay dukers, you should go up there and check it out really is an amazing view and well worth it. Okay, onward. Just completed another little mini climb. We're trying to get up to the bridges so we can walk our way over to uh, Indian Creek. Actually, I guess I'm not done. I still have to get that. Hello, condors. How are you guys doing? I think they think I'm their dinner. Not gonna be. Not gonna happen. Kind of looked like it was gonna rain for a little bit, but now the sun has popped out just in time for me to drop some ledges and get down into Indian Creek, find a good campsite. really is a dry year when this is as good as it gets in Indian Creek. Yep. All kinds of illegal ATV tracks in Indian Canyon this year. Kind of makes me mad. Okay, we're at the junction with Rustler Canyon, so we're going to go up. Bees love these flowers. I'm at the big dry fall in Rustler Canyon. And I've seen several Hey Dukers post elaborate bypass routes, but there's really no need for that. We're going to go right up the middle. Let's do it. Okay, this very bottom part you can't climb, so you're going to have to go over to the side along this ledge. And then on that middle shelf, you can go right up the chute. Okay, so now we're up on that middle shelf. And there's even a little seep if you're really desperate for water. And then here's the little chute. Climb right up and out of that. Let's see if I can try to do this with the pack on. Might need to take it off. Oh. Oh. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, that'll make life easier. Okay. Oh. Whoa. All right, here we go. Oh, we're good. Oh. And with that, we're up on top and back up into Open Canyon. Hiding in some shade again and uh, you know, I've got to say, besides that crazy weather in the beginning when it snowed on me 
and then got really hot when I was out in that arid area. Uh, the weather's been pretty good. It's been moderate for the last few weeks. Uh, it's like in the 80s today, and uh, it's not too bad. You still want to grab the shade when you can, but uh, overall, not too bad. I mean, I'm pushing my luck. By, by the end of May, it can be really hot in this area, so uh, I'm counting my blessings and hope it doesn't reach triple digits by the time I'm done. So, uh, I like it. If you look really closely, you can see cars up at Needles Outpost. The sun is reflecting on the uh, windshield, I guess. We might be in for a little uh, thunderstorm. This could be exciting. Missing my chance for free water. Taking a break over in the shade. That's a bummer. Now it looks like rain to the north. That's where I'm headed. Never did really rain on me here. It sprinkled for about a few minutes and that's it. I hope these shoes can hold together for just a few more days. This morning, a toe has been hurting me for days and I actually had to take my knife and cut into my shoe and about a bottle cap of sand came out. Put my shoes back on and it felt so much better. Shoes were almost brand new when I started. I would just worn them a few times to break them in. Actually, it's my second pair. The first 10 days I had a different set of shoes. Day 42. First thing we have to do is climb back up the boulders up to the seep on the high wall to get our bottles that we left overnight collecting water. Let's go do it. All right, our bottle we left overnight is full to the brim as expected. My calculations, it probably took a little over two hours to do that. I was going to come back last night and get it and then do it again, but uh, I found the better seep up canyon, so this one was somewhat irrelevant. Back to seep number two with lots of water ready for me to grab. This was dry in 2009. There's actually some puddles down there, but this will be much cleaner. This is a pretty bad stretch of the Hay Duke for water. So yesterday I went from terrible water in Indian Creek Rustler to bad water in Upper Lockhart. And then I was considering a side trip to the Colorado River just to load up. Um, but instead I camped here where I knew there were a few small seeps and I checked those out. And they take a lot of work to get up to, but uh, I'm glad I did. This is a stretch that I got stuck in in 2009. Well, not stuck, I just, I struggled because I had so little water and it was so hot and it was just, it was terrible. But uh, hopefully I've got enough okay water now to get me through this stretch and there won't be any more issues. All right, day 42, hope all is good. So I eat a lot of Mountain House freeze-dried food on my trips. I repackage them first. I take them out and put them in Ziplocs and then keep the actual container for cooking in. But this is the new design from uh, last year, I believe. And you can't believe how many times I've, I've wondered what these guys are talking about. What conversation's going on here? All with kind of awkward open mouth laugh. Yep, that's what I do when I have too much time on my hands. Day 42, let's take it home. Bum, 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 bum. Here's the graveyard of the hikers that didn't carry enough water. Just joking. Just another dead cow. Again, no place for cows. What's going on over there? What's happening? Oh, now you move, huh?
What the heck is that? What is that racket? What's going on? Seems like there'd have to be a shortcut to this portion of the Hay Duke route, which follows the Jeep road, which is way out of the way. But it seems like there'd have to be a quicker way up these canyons here. I was going to explore it, but I was short on water and time, and that's not the best time to do an exploratory route. And also, in my opinion, you shouldn't even be in this section. You should go over Hatch Mesa. Quicker, better water, awesome views from the top of the mesa. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a shortcut here, maybe there's not, but I'm not going to be the one to find it, at least not on this trip, and maybe never. All right, about to make the bend. Been walking, walking, walking to get around what I call Star Point. And now we are making the turn. Woohoo, look at that. More new scenery. It's where I want to be. Not going to the La Salles this time, but to Arches. It should be right out there. <sighs> Feels good. Oh, hey, there's Mr. Shadow. Hey, how you doing? Are you happy to almost be done? Yay, cheeseburger and beer for Mr. Shadow coming soon. What? You don't eat that kind of stuff. Really? Okay, well, I'm gonna get one. Woohoo.